Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got this question here. This is an exponential equation. How do we find the value of x? x is right here and it's over here. Now, how do we get that value of x? The first thing must be to think about the basis. If you can see the base, which is it, over here, it's a fraction, and here we've got a 64. Our job will be to balance the bases. So we shall say 3 into 3, that's giving us a 1. Into 24, it's giving us a 8. So that means we shall have 8 power x, which is equal to 64 power x minus a 2. Have we balanced the bases? This is a question that which we must be asking ourselves. Have we balanced the bases? Not yet. You can see we've got 8 here and we've got 64. So what do we do in order for us to balance the bases? We can just say 8 power x is equal to this side also 8 power a 2. This simply because we know that when we say 8 power 2, we shall definitely get a 64, and that's what we want. Now, where do we take this other power? It will be right here. And of course, you know, the meaning of brackets, it means multiplication. So the power which is over here will be multiplied by these two. We shall have 8 power x is equal to 8 power 2x minus 4. Because this 2 times x is 2x, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. If we balance the bases, yes, we have 8 here and also 8 here. That means 8 is equal to 2, I mean x is equal to 2x minus 4. Upon balancing the bases, you get the powers. This power is equal to this other power. Okay. So we solve this equation. We shall have uh, x, okay? x there minus 2x is equal to negative 4. So when we work out here, we are getting a negative x, which will be equal to negative 4. Okay? Because the x minus 2x is negative x, which is equal to negative 4. Divide by a negative 1 by a negative 1. This negative by negative will go, will remain with a 4. Because negative 1 into negative 4, it's just a 4. Our solution in this case is equal to 4. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to share the video, subscribe, like, and leave a comment in the comment section below. For more video, you can also follow me on my Facebook page, which is Jacob's Chamber Online Math. Or TikTok, it's also the same, Jacob Sichamba Online Math. Bye-bye.